Hi, Friday, uh, June 24th, 2016, Monaco 64 here, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. It's been a very long 24 hours. Uh, I covered the uh, Brexit uh, results all night last night. Uh, the markets were all over the place, you know, depending on the result, you know, when the results were coming out. And uh, very interesting, you know, very good in my opinion that the British people decided to leave the EU. The EU is an unaccountable uh, institution in my opinion, very undemocratic and bureaucratic and socialistic. So that's good. But I do uh, have a few uh, questions that have popped in my mind over the last few months. Um, the first one is the fact that uh, David Cameron, uh, before the last general election last year, he said that uh, if he won, he would call for a referendum on whether to leave the EU by the end of 2017. So I think it was late last year after he won the election, uh, he said, oh, we're going to have it on June 23rd, 2016. And I thought, that's unusual. I've, it's been kind of nagging me. I'm saying, why? You know, when, politicians usually wait till the end. You know, they want to stay in power as long as possible. You know, and look at him today. He had to resign. You know, he could have had another 18 months of uh, the trappings of uh, Downing Street and... Uh, the premiership of the country, but no, he called for the referendum yesterday, and uh, that always like kind of nagged me. And uh, and then the other thing that I've been looking into, and that especially in the last few weeks leading to the referendum, is the fact that we've had all the major uh, supposed experts like George Soros, Lord Rothschild, uh, George Osborne, the Chancellor. They're all coming out and saying. You know, if you if the people vote to leave, it's going to be a financial disaster. The economy is going to implode. Uh, don't do it. And lo and behold, you know, the people voted to leave. And, uh, you know, the markets uh, have moved like massively today. And uh, the Dow right now is down 600 points. Uh, the pound is, uh, you know, down 8%. So, yeah, it's been quite... Um, you know, a uh, very wild and volatile day. Uh, we've seen moves we haven't seen ever, probably. And the other thing I noticed watching Sky News, BBC, is that the reporters made sure they really rubbed it in uh, when they were interviewing the uh, Leave uh, people, you know, the politicians that campaign for Leave. They really rubbed it in. Oh, look, look what you've done. You've wiped out billions from the stock market. Do you really think this was worth it? You know, it's your fault. And I thought, actually, you know, the FTSE is around 6,000 right now. In the 2008 crisis, we dropped from 7,000 to 3,500. The pound dropped from above two to the dollar to 135. Worth it. And I thought, what why are they being like this? So I thought, oh, they want to blame, they want to blame the uh, leave people for the move in the market. And then the other piece of the puzzle was when um, the governor of the Bank of England, uh, Mark Carney, came out today after the prime minister had resigned to calm the markets down. And he made a statement from the Bank of England. And I read here from Reuters, it says, Carney, BOE to use extra 250 billion pounds to help markets. Consider more action. So here we have, and I thought, 250 billion, where is, getting, where is he getting that from? Well, that, that will come from the taxpayer because the Bank of England is not going to risk its own capital. So, and it says it's considering more. So I thought to myself, this is a bailout. So here we are, we've got a bailout of the banks. And uh, if you look back the last six, 12 months, the European banks, uh, Deutsche Bank, the Italian banks, RBS, Barclays, they've, you know, their share prices have been dumping. They've rebounded since February, but they've been coming back down. 
And I thought to myself, ah, I see that I now I know why Cameron called the referendum way earlier. They knew the banks were in trouble, but they couldn't ask the people to bail out the banks again. Can you imagine you go to the British public and say, sorry, you need to bail out the banks again, 250 billion, maybe 500 billion? There would have been a revolution. So what do they have to do? They have to give them something in an exchange and also something that would cover up the bailout. And in my opinion, that was the referendum leaving Europe and allowing the public, you know, to get what they really wanted uh, to leave the EU and make sure also you blame them for the move in the market and the mayhem that it creates or the mayhem that they created, really, and then bail out the banks. Uh, I spoke to a friend who works in the city today and I was talking to him about the markets and I said, oh, did you see the Bank of England bailed out the banks, 250 billion pounds? He said, no, I didn't see anything. So here is a guy who's in the city, he didn't even notice it. So do you think someone who was celebrating today from Birmingham or uh, Sunderland, do you think they noticed that? I don't think so. So yeah, that's my, my view here. Uh, the... Uh, Brexit was the cost uh, that the establishment had to pay in order to save themselves, i.e. bail out the banks and keep the system going. Uh, maybe I'm looking, thinking too much or maybe, <laughs> but I think it makes sense. And um, may, I, I actually don't think the, these 250 billion pounds are going to be enough. And the other reason why I think it's a bailout is because if you go back to uh, 09, uh, there's an article in the Independent that says 850 billion pounds was the official cost of the bank bailout. That was an article from the Independent. So where is that 850 billion pounds? It's gone. So can you imagine having to go to the British public? You know, we spent 850 billion pounds of your money and uh, sorry, we need another 250, maybe 500 billion. That would have been, it would have been the end of the establishment. There would have been a revolution, in my opinion. So they had to give him Brexit and say, if you vote for Brexit, it's all going to, the economy is going to get hurt and we're going to have to like save the economy because you guys voted to get out. So if you find the, uh, this video interesting and you like uh, what I talked about, please like, share and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to take a rest now. I'm tired. Uh, uh, have a good weekend. Take care. Bye.